A new adventure, Siren's Prize. This is a complete walkthrough video due to the scale of this adventure. However, if you wish to avoid spoilers, there will be a small spoiler-free section on what you need to do to unlock these seals, all in the form of chapters, followed by the upcoming Rare Cosmetics giveaway on my Twitch channel. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax, and enjoy. To begin, talk to Lorena by the entrance of every tavern, then follow her lead to visit Belle at Blunder Valley. She will be waiting on the east side of the island. Then, you will be required to visit three shrines and complete the adventure. Shrine of Ancient Tears, Shrine of Tribute, and Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. Each one has a priest waiting for you. After that, you are sent back to Belle for the finale of the adventure. If you follow the deeds and find the journals, you will unlock the title and the seals provided in the mementos section. Find three items, return each to its priest, and go back to Belle. However, you should do a few things to avoid losing the adventure, as it might get bugged in specific scenarios. Unfortunately, this has to be in the walkthrough, where it might contain spoilers. I'll show you how to avoid these issues and get all the rewards, but before we get into it, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. This was a no-brainer to choose. I'm a fan of small wallets, and compared to my older, small one, the Ridge Wallet is even more compact. Holds up to 12 cards and has room for cash. You can give it a try for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you don't like it. This durable material also means it comes with a lifetime warranty. They also have the Ridge Key Case that is designed to streamline how you carry your keys and holds between two to six keys. Currently, there is a Bronco giveaway with every dollar spent on the website before September 30th. You'll be entered to win a brand new upgraded Ford Bronco or $75,000 if you prefer cash. If you'd like to learn more about the Ridge Wallet, use the link ridge.com slash fuzzybee or check out the link in the description below. Now you have reached Blunder Valley and are given the task of visiting these shrines. Shrine of Ancient Tears is a bunch of puzzles. Once down there, the priest will give you a note to locate the first item. I'm not sure if it's always the same, but in our situation, it was in turtle hall. To access this area, you need to ignite all four flames in the beginning and step on the platforms. This will give you access to another door that will open the main hall area. Once in there, these puzzles are opened by igniting all flames, pulling all switches and pressing on all platforms within a short period of time. By doing that, we unlocked the butterfly section that gave us access to the turtle section, did the same and found the first item. Here I found a nice fella who helped me with this and discovered a few bugs we encountered later that broke the adventure. Shout out to you, my friend for the awesome work. Now, if you are with another pirate or crew and they are friendly, do not worry about the item. It seems like it spawns one per crew. So they took theirs, and I took mine right after. And we both handed into the priest after a few waves of ocean crawlers. Now here's the thing. Make sure not to mix up the items. Once you drop them and all chaos is around while fighting, you might pick up the wrong one. And once you hand that in, you will get completion. But the other crew's item will despawn in their hand, and they have to start all over. The best way to avoid this is to put the item in the coral mermaid as soon as you get it, until the fight is over. Once done, retrieve the treasure back to the shrine and hand it in once all clear and safe. This way, no mix-ups will happen, and your item will always be safe if someone sinks your ship while you're down there, since if you die in the shrine, you will spawn back there, allowing you to complete it. The second and third shrines have different puzzles but are much more straightforward. If you're unfamiliar with them, in Ancient Tribute, you must angle the mermaid's arms, based on the painting when you first dive down. And for the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune, all you need to do is find your way on the platform halfway up for the item. However, in this one, the priest was almost all the way down again. Before we proceed to the next step, in case you struggle with these puzzles, there's a link to the Rare Thief website in the bottom for you to find all journals and unlock these puzzles if you find any difficulty. Now, once you hand in all items, you will be asked to return to Belle east of Plunder Valley. She will perform a ritual and send you to the top of the island to protect her priest while doing the summoning. The final battle is similar to the Legend of the Veil, vale, Soul Flame Captain. Fend off all phantoms and you have completed the adventure. If you want people to help you with this, my Discord has more than 20,000 pirates ready to at sale and all need to complete it too. And as promised in the beginning, if you want to get your hands on some of the rarest cosmetics in Sea of Thieves, check the schedule below for my Twitch drops, Obsidian Capstan giveaway and Obsidian six packs that I regularly have on my channel. Please subscribe, happy sailing.